Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer, and in this video I'm going to show you how to upload layouts, pages, and presets to the MIDI Designer Q&A site to share them with the world. Um, in this video I'm showing a layout created by Jacob Hack of Hack Attack, Attack Attack with a Q, and it's a really cool layout to control Korg gadget and uh, Jacob shared it in a zip file, which has some other stuff, which is cool, uh, but I wanted to get the layout shared directly on the Q&A site as the layout file so that you can open it directly in MIDI Designer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch by pressing the home button uh, out of MIDI Designer, and I'm gonna switch to Safari, and here I'm going to go to the, the uh, MIDI Designer Q&A site. And I'm going to do my login here. And now I'm logged in and what I want to do is I want to ask a question. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is ask a question. And um, the question is going to be, this is a layout for, actually we'll use the standard format, um, core gadget. And the category has to be community shares for me to get the upload capability, or some of it anyway. And in the target manufacturer, I'm going to put Korg. If that wasn't found, I'd use uh, unlisted or other. And here I'm going to have to put some question text in or the site's not going to let me go ahead. Um, this is my layout for the Korg gadget that was created. Um, for Hack Attack. Anyway, um, that will be some placeholder text, and we'll put in some real text later. Um, and I'm going to ask the question. And this is the new upload capability that uh, we just implemented and deployed today, um, and to streamline the process and make it easier for you. So now, if the question is in the category um, community shares, as this one is, I immediately get this button when I look at the layout. If I have editing privileges, I see the button for upload from MIDI Designer to this download section. So that's the button that I'm going to press to get the coupon code. So I press that button, and now I get a coupon code. It says your coupon code is ready to use. It tells me how to use it, which I'm going to uh, blaze right ahead and show you. But the one thing that I do want to do is I want to I want to click on it, I mean tap on it, and I want to copy it. So it's this five digit code and I'm going to copy it. And now I switch back to MIDI Designer. And I'm going to go to connect, which brings me into config, actions, and upload layout. So that's right under Config, Actions, Upload Layout, and here it shows me the box for the coupon code. So I just hit the Paste button, which is going to paste the, the five-digit code that I copied. And now I'm going to hit Upload. And here it uploads, says Upload Complete. So now we can close. And let's go back to Safari and see what happened. So I go back to Safari, and I'm just going to refresh the page. And you can see that the layout is here, and it's ready to use. So let's test it out. I'm going to go back to MIDI Designer Pro, and I'm going to go to Config again, go to New, uh, Actions, New, and I'm going to just create a layout with the default controls. So now I get a layout with some random colors, and um, and I get uh, the standard uh, layout on every page. And now I'm going to bring over the layout from the Q&A site. So going back to Safari, 
I see this layout here and I'm just going to tap it and Safari asks me what I want to do with the layout, uh, whether I want to open it in uh, one of the versions of MIDI Designer that I have, which is not the one I want to use. So I'm going to tap open in and uh, this is the testing uh, harness. So we're seeing several versions of MIDI Designer, but I want to open it in MIDI Designer Pro 2. So I just tap that and here it says append to current layout. I say no. It says all good restored. Let's have a look. Hit play and there's the layout again. So that's the upload process to get from your layout all the way to the Q&A site. Uh, so there you see the entire upload process and we verified that it worked. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you Jacob Hack for this layout. It's a wonderful uh, piece to control uh, the Korg gadget. Thanks to Korg for making the gadget. And thanks to all of my amazing community users uh, for, of MIDI Designer uh, for using the app and sharing your stuff. Some of these layouts have taken hundreds or thousands of hours to make. Please check them out at mididesigner.com forward slash community. And thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much.